What's going on, everybody? This is the Daily Fantasy Show brought to you by Daily Faceoff. I am Josh. It is Sunday, the 15th. We have a three-game slate. It's going to be a pretty rough one. Four of the six teams are on a back-to-back, and the two teams that are not are the Knights and the Ducks, and they're both really banged up. But we're still going to play because that's what we do. So let's hop right in. First game. Boston Bruins traveling into Vegas to face the Knights. Marc-Andre Fleury put on the IR with a concussion. Looks like Malcolm Subban is going to start. Uh, still not confirmed. I would also assume Rask is going to start. Still not confirmed, but that's the most likely matchup. Um, all the, the Bruins seem optimal. Bergeron is still day-to-day. He's probably not going to play, but um, definitely going to want Marshan, Pasternak, and uh, Tori Krug. Could even, you know, just stack this game, put six Bruins in. But I want to lease those three Bruins. They're going to be really chalky, but got to at least have some exposure if you're doing multiple. I mean, there's no fading the Bruins in this spot against Subban. He hasn't even shown he's capable of being an NHL backup. Yeah, he played for the Bruins. I don't, there's going to be no narrative there for me. I'm going to have Bruins. And also, on the Vegas side, it's interesting for me because Rask hasn't been very good at all. And Boston is on a back-to-back, so... I still want the uh, the Neal line with Perron. Interesting to note that uh, Shippy has been called up. I'm not, I'm not even going to tr- uh, try to pronounce his actual name. But he has been called up. It'll be interesting where he slots in. There's a couple injuries. Uh, I don't think he skated on the top line. So it'll be, if he's not up there, I'm probably not going to have anything. I want Neil Perron and... Uh, Cody Eakin, if that's the line. Still want Nate Schmidt on defense. He's the guy who sees the power play time. Uh, for me, in terms of goalies, no interest in Subban. If you're not stacking the Knights, I can see using Rask. He's only 7,400. Um, he's probably worth, worth a shot if you're not using the Knights. Especially with the other games, it's probably going to be mostly backups and Gibson. So, yeah, I definitely want some exposure to Karask. So moving to the second game, we have the Buffalo Sabres traveling to Anaheim to face the Ducks. Buffalo played last night against the Kings. They lost 3-2. Ducks had the night off, but Getzlaff is still out. Actually, Gibson got hurt last game, so he's not confirmed So it might be uh, Barra. So yeah, the Ducks are really banged up. I want to definitely want some exposure to Eichel line if it's still Eichel and Pomaville for sure with uh, Ristolainen. I also like the second line tonight actually with uh, Ryan O'Reilly, Akposo, and Kane. On the duck side, it it really depends on their lines because Getzlaff is probably out. So last game, I think it was Eves, Raquel, and Silverberg. If that's still the line, that's the one I want to use, and I probably still want to use Brandon Montour on the on the blue line. He's been really good. He's still cheap. He's thirty eight hundred. Not really sure. I don't think Robin Leonard is going to start the back to back. So if it is, I th- I believe it's Chad Johnson. As Adam talks about, uh, talked about when we were on the pod the last time, the, the Sabres give up an insane amount of high uh, danger scoring chances. So, man, goalies in this game is rough because Barra is 7,800, which is expensive. Chad Johnson 7,000, but he's the backup on a back-to-back. Even though the Ducks are banged up, I can see maybe. I mean, Barra played great. I mean, I, I wouldn't say great, but. He played good the last game uh, against the Avs coming in for Gibson. Yeah, I mean, there really isn't, there really aren't many options, so 
Uh, either goalie are in play for me. More so Barra than Johnson. I mean, Johnson's definitely going to be a fly, like a GPP flyer only. I wouldn't consider either of these guys in cash. Uh, probably the cash goalie would be Rask, which is scary. So we'll move on to the last game of the night. We got the Islanders on a back-to-back going into the to face the LA Kings, who are also on the back-to-back. They won last night. So did the Islanders. Grice had a 40-save win, but he is not starting tonight. It is Halak at 6,800. He could interest me there. Uh, the Kings goalies, quick, 8,400 if he starts on the back-to-back. No interest. Kemper, 8,100 on the back. Uh, I really don't have much interest there. Um, the Kings are pretty good defensively, so, but I still want some uh, exposure to the top line, Tavares, uh, Lee, and Eberle. I also like the line with Brock Nelson and Hosang, if you want to go there. Uh, on defense, the Islanders' defenders really don't interest me. Uh, in terms of the Kings, the Islanders are just Bad defensively, and you saw it yesterday. I mean, the the San Jose, uh, the Sharks just couldn't capitalize. Put forty one shots on net. They only got one across. Um, Dustin Brown and Kopitar have been on fire, but I, I, I can't sit here and actually recommend them to you. I mean, it's a three, it's a three game slate, and anything there's nothing that's off the table. If you want to use them, you can go ahead and use them and chase the points. I just don't think Dustin Brown is any good. I prefer to use the 70s line of uh, Carter to Foley and Pearson with Muzzin on the blue line. I mean, if you want a six-man stack it and add, have those four and add in Kopitar and Dustin Brown, then sure. If you, if you think that you know the Kings are the play, you can go full six-man stack. You can also do it the other way. I mean, you can have the top line of the Islanders with the Hosang line. But all in all, if you're not using the Kings, I like taking a little flyer on Holak. I mean, it's scary. 6,800, this is basically just because of price. I mean, I don't know. I really haven't uh, constructed lineups yet, but if you need the, if the savings, if that's necessary, I could see you going Holak. If you aren't using the Islanders... I wouldn't be thrilled about it, but goalie options are terrible. you got to see who's confirmed. If it's Kemper, 8,100, I'm probably not going to pay it. But if you want to pay it, I'm not going to talk you off. I just, I'm not a big spender on goalies. So to recap, top plays are obviously Boston. I guess Rask. I mean, Rask seems like the safe play, which doesn't, which isn't safe at all. So almost. Anything is in play tonight, like all of Boston, especially um, Brad Marchand, Pasternak, Krug on the Vegas side. I like the knee line. Uh, depends where Shippy uh, slots in. He could be an interesting play if he gets moved up. I have no interest in Malcolm Subban. I mean, that would be the ultimate contrarian play because Boston's going to be chalk. I mean, if you want to try to leverage the field there and you're, you know, have tons of lineups, which is a more beneficial strategy than one lineup on a three game slate. Then you could have a couple Subban and if he goes off, he's going to be very low. And so that's nice leverage. I mean, it might not be light, <laughs> nice. He might give up six goals, but it's worth, the, it's uh, worth the risk to have a couple Subban lineups. If you're, you know, making 20, um, Ducks line, uh, the Raquel line, you just got to see what the lines are because they're banged up. Um, Sabres, the Eichel line, our, uh, the Ryan O'Reilly line, I like both. Ristolainen on D. And then the last game, I like um, that 70s line for the Kings and the top line or Nelson Hosang for the Islanders. So make sure to check out... Um, Daily Faceoff, uh, we have some premium stuff. We have projections on an optimizer, uh, cash and GPP. We also have a premium chat, which I'll be in tonight. So make sure you 
hop in there, ask me questions. We had one of our subscribers win the four check uh, for $3,000. I think that was on Monday when, I believe it was Monday when uh, Ehlers had the hat trick against the Oilers. So good luck, everyone, tonight. It's a injury back-to-back world slate, but hopefully you win some money. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Later.